when I'm hearing when I, when I'm hearing him say what Large Professor is doing with him is there's one it's one thing to put up an artist in the industry. It's another thing when you think you have an artist who can change the industry around. If you can make your own beats, be a DJ, you come from graft, you freestyle your ass off, and you're getting rhymes out of your sleep, you don't rush that just to make money. You kind of, when well, he said I, I, he wanted me to be a monk in the house of music, that translates to me to, I want you to be, I want you to change shit, not just be a but part. Not, but not only that, he wanted you to mm. love it like he loved it. And I did, and he knew that. That's why he, he was watering that. What I could definitely say <laughs> beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's nothing that he didn't want for me that was, he just wanted the best for his little brother. Right. But I think he wanted it at his pace. Pace, right. And Did he have a problem with you hustling? I was about to ask that. That might, yeah. yeah. He did, he just had a problem with me. Like, um, I'll never forget. I came to his crib one day and it was like Brooklyn Queens day and I had a bulletproof on under my um under my shirt and he was like disappointed in me and it was mad hot out but at that time Brooklyn Queens day was yeah. always you had to be on point, point. and right. flush your metal right and wastelands we was at war with everybody like we was at war with Left Rack. We was at war with Pominat. We was at war with niggas in the Ville. We was at war with niggas in the Bland. We was at Some war niggas with in Southside. Southside oh, yeah. niggas. Like, we was just one stretch of area in Flushing that was at war with everything around us. Right. So I came to the, matter of fact, Nas was in the crib too. And I had the bulletproof one, and I told a nigga large, I was like, yo, let me take this shit off because it's mad hot, hot outside. Man. And he was like, nope. If you wore it, you're going to wear it where we go. Since you want to wear it. And I could tell that that was his way of being like, okay, if that's where you staring yourself towards, right. nigga, you deal with what you staring yourself towards. Right. So that let me know that he was kind of disappointed in me for being outside. Do you think him trying to slow your pace also, he's known you before you were hustling. Now you getting money. You dressing fly. Is he thinking if he starts seeing success money-wise with this music? I can't really answer that. I got, that's, that yeah, I, I, feel you, I don't know. You too young at he, that time. I'm too young at yeah. that time. And not for nothing, I ended up before, like, right while I met Irv, and I'm still dealing with large and shit, I ended up, I stopped hustling. Mm. Um, but I also ended up caught, catching my first case, because, um, again, this where now it's coming to play. Um, I was dating a girl named Paula in, in, in Wastelands, and her baby's father broke her nose. And I caught up to the nigga in my old building on Colden, and did a number on this nigga. Mm -hmm. And like the whole 109, you know over there, 109 is the precinct. So all 109 comes out looking for me. They close off um, Flushing and, and um, Sanford, like where you would cut to go to Main the, Street. The, yeah. They was on Casino. They, they cut the block off from Casino. There was no way I could have moved. You was on foot? It's fat. Oh, OK. Oh, and mind Because the highway's yeah, over there, my too. My whole building was here. Large buildings here, like literally across from each other. I put the beats on the nigga in my old building and wasn't really nowhere for me to boogie to. Boogie, yeah. And I'm with my man Chief and my cousin John John. So at this time now, Nas and Carmen is really dating and he like lives in the crib or whatever. I'm like, I knew Large wasn't home. I forget how I knew he wasn't home, but and Van wasn't around because he was with Large. I'm like, damn, the only place I could go to was Nas joint. So I run up. To the, to, the, to the apartment, whatever. 
The nigga Nas opened the door, he's like, yo, what up? I was like, yo, son, I'm jammed up. Just let me come in for a second. And he walked to the window and he looked out the window and he's like, damn, Mike, you did all of that? And I was like, did all of what? <laughs> <laughs> and he took the shade like that. Yeah. And I looked out, out the window, I was like, oh, son, that's like all 109 in front of my building. Right. So I'm like, damn, I'm cooked. I can't go that way. And I'm yeah. watching him put the nigga in the ambulance, all that shit. Relish shit the nigga Nas, like to this day, which if, I'll, I'll tell you how it all makes sense. Um, nigga Nas looked at me and he was like, yo, I'ma go to, I'ma go get some weed. Da 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 da. Yo, if shorty come in, just stay here. They don't answer the door, yo, I'ma come right back. And at that time we knew each other and we was, I would say we were acquaintances. Right. But I would never expect you to be like, yo, you can stay here, I'ma go get weed. Don't move. Don't move. Some real nigga shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Mm. Real nigga shit. Yeah. And then the nigga went, got the weed. I laid low until them niggas cleared out. I watched them put the nigga in the ambulance, like I saw all that shit. Now I just came back. Smoked a little bit, and I went home. And he didn't have to do that, because right. he didn't really know me, know me at that time. Yeah. Not to the, the point where he was like, yo, stay here. Right, while he go outside. Right, while you go get weed. I ain't But you was large man. Right. So he's looking out for somebody who was looking out. Whether he did it because of that, or whether he did it out of the goodness of it his was heart. Or it was still... I it was never, still from the beginning of his still, heart, regardless. It was still something that I could never forget that you did. Right. Like, because yeah. a lot of niggas would, wouldn't have did, did that, yeah. period. <laughs> like, nah, period, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. This is where my shorty stayed. Like, this is her yeah. crib. Yeah, I can't like, even Some know. niggas won't even open the they door. They won't even open yeah. the door. Yeah. Well, I was like, at home. I'm, I missed it. I was bitch, asleep. Walk back All back kinds slow. of shit. And I remember <laughs> praying that someone was there because I was like, I could only maneuver around the staircases for so long before, before they, they close before you they they me. They close you yeah. He kept me safe. This hot fuck, trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve you heard.